was nothing more than scrap on wheels. Yes, it was real junk. But our volunteers did such a good job getting that locomotive up and running that in 1999, we were invited to take it all the way out to Sacramento, California for the rail fair, the last great railroad show of the millennium. But when we got out there, we discovered that some of those West Coast railroaders did not have a very high opinion of a bunch of North Carolina volunteers who only work on weekends and after hours to keep our equipment running. You see, they had organized a locomotive race, and thinking it would be an easy win for them, they challenged us. I don't have to tell you who won that race, do I? That's right, the 1925 Graham County Shea was the fastest Shea locomotive in America. You know, it really is uncharitable of me to criticize those West Coast railroaders. They're actually very good people, and they are dedicated to the preservation of railroad history like we are. It's just that morning they made one small mistake. They forgot we're from NASCAR country. And yes, we were accused of cheating, but they never proved it. I know, because I was here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment or two, we're going to be riding through a fence line. I'm sure you've noticed that our cars occasionally rock from side to side, which means we could come pretty close to that fence line. Now, there's a lot of barbed wire on that fence, so please, let's make sure we don't have anything outside the windows. And I know I'm repeating myself, ladies and gentlemen, but when we come up to the roundhouse courtesy stop, please remain in your seats until an announcement is made that it is safe to leave the train, and we do apologize if it takes a few minutes, oh, and uh, that. we'll work to assist you in leaving as quickly away. as we can. We don't just grab stuff, no, we don't just grab stuff. Until the train 